Depending on the situation suits your needs. We will now show you the process of installing the flow stopper. In this situation we will be using the braided hose as the braided hose is mainly for use in pipe sizes 50 to 100 mil. The unbraided hose could also be used if water is flowing from both directions. The unbraided hose can be used in all size pipes but is mainly in use for 20 mil to 40 mil. We have simply connected the hose to the air valve end of the stainless steel hose and we have the medium sized bladder for 50 mil pipes and we will simply screw this in to the other end of the hose. No Teflon is required as there is an o-ring that seals it once it is screwed all the way home. We will now show you the method of installing the hose ready for use. The first method is getting the air valve end of the hose, putting a slight bend and installing it through the opening and up and out of the T-piece a short distance. The remaining hose is then fed up the pipeline as you insert the piece. The second method of hose installation is inserting through the open end again, but this time pulling the hose through all the way and just leaving the bladder sitting in the end opening. We'll now sit this in to the pipe to be repaired. And once the couplings are then installed, the hose can then be fed up the line. Now feeding the remaining hose into the pipeline and we must always be a minimum of 600 mil from any joint to be welded. This is extremely important as it could cause damage to the rubber bladders.